Well, I'm a bit late, but I guess it's always better to be a bit late than to not be at all. So I would take this time just briefly talk about Kurlengo. Kurlengo was arrested yesterday, I just found that out. Uh, mainly thanks to um, Baba23TV, that's this guy. And also thanks to this guy who provided me with loads of info about this, get, giving me the main picture of it all. I got into more details. And yes, Kurt Angle was arrested after an incident with Tranesha Biggers. They have now confirmed it was Tranesha Biggers, also known as Raka Khan in, WW, uh, in TNA. They were dating. Kurt Angle had a rebound relationship with her. Uh, she had escaped from home, she got a PFA against Kurt Angle, a, a restrictive order of sorts, protective order, an injunction for Kurt Angle not to get close to her because she was afraid she would get uh, physically assaulted or something like that. Thing is, she was uh, at a, some Starbucks cafe at the internet, she saw Kurt Angle circulating around the area in a car staring at her, or so she tells the cops. Uh, he also got her phone in the car and she was afraid that he was going to erase text messages and photos proving that she uh, that he had assaulted her and uh, abu and abused her so that he got arrested and uh, he told the cops that no he had not uh, stalked Trinisha Biggers he was just looking for a hotel room in Pittsburgh this is mostly news came from the Pittsburgh uh, Gazette and uh, they also thing is it was not all only that he's now um, suspected for by uh, abusing uh, his ex-girlfriend. They also find HGH in his car, human growth hormones, something Kurt Angle claims he had prescriptions for. He better have it because otherwise he is on the verge of giving, being screwed here because he also is uh, suspected for stalking and harassing harassing Trinesha Biggers despite uh, there being, being a protective order. Uh, against him. He was also seeing, she was escaping from this cafe, she saw him later in a junction and f from there on just es escalated. So now Kurt Angle was also, uh, is also uh, in, in line for being fined or punished for driving with a suspended license. His license was suspended last year when he got caught for driving under influence and he refused to breathe into this breathalyzer that they had with him so they could not prove how much ethanol he had in him more than the fact that he did have ethanol in him. And um, yeah, his license was suspended so he, should, he, sh he was, should not have been driving this car at all. So this is real trouble for TNA. Kurt Angle, Dixie Carter, Dixie Carter, who earlier said she will not tolerate any physicality, any problems, anything within the TNA roster. She will handle it on the spot, as they did with Jeff Jarrett. There was a, a situation. They they agreed that the best situation was for Jarrett to go home and rest and be away for a while due to the triangle drama that I guess every one of you will know about that at this time between Karen Angle, Kurt Angle and Jeff Jarrett. This is somewhat ironic, Kurt Angle has been pro pushing to get more backstage control, creative control, he's been pushing and whispering in, in Dixie Carter's ear. Uh, this makes Kurt Angle seem, put, seem kind of weird, it puts him in an awkward situation and it seems more and more Kurt Angle is a hothead he is crazy and I'm also uh, afraid of Kurt Angle's well-being, his health and his ability to really take care of himself right now. He really needs time off. He, he needs to get away from it, just calm down because to me he's, he's seemingly losing it. He's seemingly on the verge of losing it. He's getting more and more crazy. I mean, all these interviews where he exaggerates, he lies and he and, and Vince warned for this. Kurt Angle was uh, uh, troubled to be handled because he was very emotional, sometimes irrational, and maybe it was just time to get rid of Kurt Angle when WWE did. Because he also, I mean, he was a liability due to his health. He wrestled with a broken neck in WWE, did not tell WWE about it at WrestleMania 19. And uh, he was already a junkie on uh, pills and uh, painkillers that was. So I. Uh, and, I mean, Kurt Angle's in a really tough spot right now. He was pushing to get more power within TNA, more or less powering out Jeff Jarrett. He's now in this weird situation. And 
The WWE recently went out Kurt Vince McMahon allegedly saying on a board meeting that he's not interested in re-signing Kurt Angle due to Kurt Angle being, um, how old is he, 41 years old, uh, something like that. He's not a part of their long-term future plan. And I can understand that. That's full uh, logical uh, arguing. So Kurt Angle is in a tough spot right now. I don't know who they, how, how they're going to look at him when he comes back. Uh, I also know that Tarnesha Bigger's status in TNA was not that good, not that good at all. Uh, and perhaps the only reason she was still there was because she had a rebound relationship. Kurt Angle had a rebound relationship with her after divorcing Karen Angle. So this is really swirling right now. It's just a maze of rumors and stuff. And of course, you gotta take an aspect tonight's pay per view, TNA pay per view, Hard Justice, in where Kurt Angle, who is the franchise player of TNA, will defend his TNA World uh, Heavyweight Championship title against Sting and McMorgan. With all likeliness, Kurt Angle will be there because he was released yesterday. He is going to return to Pittsburgh for a hearing on Tuesday. This might mean Kurt Angle will miss the upcoming Impact tapings that will follow after the pay per view. And the question is, can they kill, still keep him as a champion? It would, would be valid for Sting to win the title going to Bound, Bound for Glory, which is going to be his last pay-per-view in TNA, and still have the title and maybe lose that title, because we have seen Sting leave the th last three Bound for Glories with the title, winning it. Now he could lose it and put uh, a wrestler over, namely AJ Styles, in my opinion. And not that I'm a big AJ Styles fan, but he is their... <sighs> he's the pro progressional star, the, the, their future star, so to speak. Um, so Kurt Angle might be in a tough spot, he might be going down quicker in his career than he really thought he was going to do, and maybe what Fashion and TNA 2 thought he was going to go down, because this is a very troublesome situation. They need to handle it, they need to do something. We had this triangle drama, now we got this. TNA will implode if these wrestlers don't get themselves together. I mean, Kurt Angle, shape up. You're a father. You need to take responsibility as a father, as a husband, well, a former husband, but you still got to take care of that relationship with Karen Angle. You have kids together. You, you, you are a TNA employee. You're a wrestler. You need to take that professional responsibility. And above all, Kurt Angle is the franchise player in TNA, for fuck's sake take your responsibility. You can't run around stalk people, harass people, drive without a license, a suspended license, carrying s syringe caps and uh, HGH in your car. That might even be legal, legal for you if you don't have a prescri pre blah, 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 prescription for it. So really shape up. This is a really tough spot for him right now and I'm, I'm really disappointed, that's all I can say. I'm really disappointed in Kurt Angle. Um, but as I said, he is out, he was released yesterday, so he should by all means be uh, at Victory Road. What's interesting here, uh, sorry, Hard Justice, what's interesting here is the long term plans. As I said, Carter, Dixie Carter, has previously said that she does not tolerate any of these shenanigans whatsoever in her company without them being dealt with. Uh, and Kurt Angle needs to get himself together because he's heading down that road right now. I'm really worried for his health. Uh, uh, for, for me, I mean, it could be in a couple of years, they could just as well find him dead. Uh, that's how I feel right now because he is he's simply out there. Um, feel free to, to say what you think and feel free to share your opinions. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.